Well, this is interesting. After a couple of weeks of Jonathan Gruber being in the news and the White House denying it and Nancy Pelosi denying that they even know who this guy is, um, I found Jonathan Gruber mentioned on the White House blog no less than eight different times. Um, here's supporting testimony. Testimony before the Senate Health Committee on Health Reform and Small Businesses. Jonathan Gruber, 11209. It's a PDF. Here's some more. MIT economist Jonathan Gruber has a new report out showing that reform will lower premiums as Americans purchasing insurance on their own. Here's another one. Analyzing the nonpartisan information from the CBO, Gruber reports that under the House version of health insurance reform legislation, a typical individual could save anywhere from nearly 500 to more than 3000 and a typical family could save between $1,260 and more than 9000 On down further, here we've got another example of Gruber. Not only does the House proposal lower premiums, it does so while also improving coverage. Gruber writes, down here, there's more, small businesses. Yesterday, Gruber also testified before the Senate Health Committee that small businesses are disproportionately hurt by the health care status quo and that health insurance reform will lower premiums and save jobs in the small business sector. Now, we all see how well that's worked out. Then again, small business has little to fear and much to gain from health reform, Gruber concluded. And another one. Gruber testified that health insurance reform would break down many of the barriers currently facing small businesses, like unpredictable premium jumps, fear of starting new businesses for lack of affordable insurance options, and higher cost and limited choices due to administrative expenses and lack of bargaining power. He also cited the tax credits that would help small businesses who need most pay for insurance. One more time here, we've got Gruber also knocked down the myth that health insurance reform will raise costs for small businesses. Objective CBO analysis, he pointed out, shows that these claims are clearly wrong. Reform will lower, not increase the increase non-group insurance costs. Well, there you have it, folks. We've got Obama. We've got Pelosi. They both deny they even know who this guy is or that he had anything to do with this thing. And here it is on the WhiteHouse.gov blog. Take it for what it's worth. This is your daddy's politics.